Hi everyone, this is Tony from ODrive, and I just wanted to make a quick video about using the ODrive desktop client. Where do you start? Um, and just the basics. How do you start using it right away very effectively? And there's, it's really easy. There's only a couple things you need to know. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at my Mac laptop. I've just installed ODrive. If you're a Windows user, I have a, a Windows video for Windows folks too. And so I've, I've got my ODrive folder up. It's showing all the storage that I've linked to my ODrive account. You can see I have several different types here. And I'm going to just drill into a particular set of, of files. So I'm gonna just double click in here to this channels folder and then to this random channels folder. Now this is actually all being dynamically uh, listed uh, because those were what we call placeholder files. Those, the folders that I was clicking on were actually files that represent folders. Um, but ODrive allows it to kind of be seamless in the sense that you can interact with those things just like you would any other folder. Same with these files here. So placeholder files just represent your cloud data, your cloud files, your cloud folders without taking up any disk space. Um, and it really allows you to focus in on the data that you need to get to right away. Uh, it's very fast and you don't have to worry about syncing everything down or indexing or having the sync engine you know, take care of all this data that you don't really care about at the moment. So these files uh, act the same way. There, I have a uh, modified date, we have a size, but the size is representing the cloud size and not what's on disk right now. If I click on a file, you'll see that it actually says zero bytes on disk. So there's no space being taken up. So you can actually browse terabytes and terabytes of storage on just a little laptop hard drive like I am here. So if I want to access a file, I can just double click on it like any other file. OJAV is going to download that and then pop it up for me, just like that. And I can also do that, I can right click on a file to sync it. You can even do that for folders. If I go out to the folder and I right click on this folder and say sync, it's gonna bring up this little dialog that gives me some options, the threshold, download threshold here, I'm just gonna say everything. And then we have a little check mark that says include subfolders, which means I, I would want it to drill into all the subfolders as well. I'm going to click the big sync button Ojo is going to immediately start working on this folder here, and it's going to be downloading everything inside. And you can see it's starting to go through stuff right now, syncing everything down. These uh, the fuchsia colored badge indicates it's being worked on, and then the check mark here indicates that it's been synced. Now everything is synced down. I'll give you a little better view here. All these photos are now synced, and uh, and that's it. I've downloaded the whole folder, which is a simple action. Now, if I want to, sync is bi-directional, obviously, so if I want to add a new file, I can just, uh, for example, I'm just going to copy one here. So I make a copy of the file here. OJive picks it up immediately, badges it to indicate that it's working on it, and that's it. Now it's uploaded. This file would actually be posted in my Slack channel, so I don't know if anybody sees that right now. And that's it. That's all you need to know uh, to use OJive immediately uh, with browsing all your storage, getting to any data you want to get to. If you have any questions, go ahead and um, hit us up on the OJive forum at forum.odrive.com. And I hope this was helpful for you folks. All right, have a great day. Thanks.